Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Abraham Kakora, and I'm here from Blade and Jets. Uh, after talking to a few of you, I've realized that many of you have heard of us already. So that <coughs> on the screen is one of our micro turbines. And you can clearly see how small that is. Uh, we use air bearings in our micro turbines. So we use three of these inside the system. And uh, the image you see on the left shows the main components in an air bearing. There's a smooth top file on which the air filter forms, uh, a corrugated pump, which provides damping, and a sleeve, which holds the entire thing in place. The <coughs> main benefits of using an air bearing in our system is that we've managed to eliminate all cooling and lubrication oil from the engine. It's completely dry. And also, the inherent benefits of using a less viscous medium provides us better response, lower energy loss, lower friction, so you're saving energy while eliminating an entire auxiliary system. Air bearings work just like any other hydrodynamic bearings. Uh, the shear between two surfaces creates a pressure on which the shaft is suspended, which reduces friction and is the basic concept of the bearing itself. Uh, the spring form that you see is the bump files, which provide damping and dissipate energy, which might be a result of any sort of disturbance in the system itself. In spite of what the title says, that is not a turbocharger. That is one of our microturbine shafts, and you can clearly see the similarities between that and what a turbocharger might look like. And this is exactly why I'm here. Our shafts, our, our engine runs in an environment which is very similar to that of a turbocharger, and it runs on air bearings, because of which uh, we have started studying this application of air bearings and turbochargers. However, we are not in the business of making turbochargers. We make micro turbines, and we do need information about the cycle, about the market itself, which will enable us to develop this technology further. Why do this at all? Because the <coughs> Low Carbon Vehicle Initiative is set to put turbochargers in 47% of automobiles by 2019. Just looking at the bearing market, this equates to at least half a billion. That's just the bearings in the turbochargers. If we assume that 10% of these turbochargers are high performance ones, which can benefit from using air bearings, we'd be looking at huge volumes by then. And we believe we can offer this competitive solution at 12 pounds a bear, 12 pounds a set, which would enable elimination of an entire system and give you benefits and provide it at a competitive cost. Um, so, why blade? The operation and the science of air bearings, uh, most of the information is in the public domain. It's been so for about three, four decades now. And as you can see in the image, that's the tip of the iceberg. What we've done is we've engineered this product, engineered this technology, I should say, to work in a product consistently and reliably. So we have IP around the installation, the product, the actual engineering, configuring how the cooling works, everything. And now we've moved this design, we move this technology towards production as we ourselves reach a stage which is ready for production. So our business model would look something like this. Uh, we would provide the expertise about the technology. We know how it works. We can get it to work in another system. <coughs> We're looking at a development partner who can provide mar market specific information and all the expertise that comes from having, from working in a market which is, in the case, the turbocharger market. And together, we'd be looking to reach production readiness for this technology. Um, we are currently running a technology developer accelerator <coughs> program, which is chaired by the Advanced Propulsion Center, to look at this technology, to understand what the variables are, to understand where we stand with respect to PL and ML levels. Um, and our partners in this are productive in the brewing factory, and we have found that the, there is a real opportunity here with, because of which we are developing this further and because of which I'm here standing in front of you today. Um, so going forward, the technology, according to our assessment, is already at a medium TR level, around five, I'd say. And going forward, we'd like to develop this so that we put these in turbochargers and reach an end And that's me. Thank you. Thank you.